Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Job, and we'll be covering chapters 15 through or 19 through 21 today. Amen. But uh, first, I would like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And before we get started with uh, our Bible reading, I wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, give you this song here because uh, um, earlier I was talking about how we need to keep marching on uh, together to victory. Amen. And we have victory in Jesus. And so I thought this would be a good uh, hymn to sing today, uh, Faith is the Victory. And I have this book here that I bought a while back that uh, is uh, by, let's see, it's by, what's the name of this company? Um, Melody Publications. And so they put this big book together with all these hymns. And, uh, hold on a second. Nope. Sorry about that. All right. So they put this big hymn book together and they went and they did a bunch of research and uh, dug up all the the verses from each one of these hymns and put them all in a big book and there's like almost a thousand pages in this book and so um thought we'd uh sing a song today faith is a victory and it's uh on page 727 of this book if you have a copy of it i know most uh most people have bought the copy um so if you have not you can purchase one i'll try to give you the address at the end of the broadcast so it says here, faith, faith is the victory, and it's a spiritual warfare of the saint, a spiritual song, and it says, faith is the victory, and what does it say here, sorry, my, it says, 8.68.D uh, with refrain irregular, okay, I guess that's the stanza or whatever, and then we see here, uh, it was written by John H. Yates, who lived from 1837 to 1900, and Ira, uh, Irad, or Ira D. Sankey uh, from 1840 to 1908. And that Sankey, uh, I believe that he was the song leader with Brother uh, um, D.L. Moody. Amen. So you can go read about D.L. Moody and Ira Sankey. Amen. It's a good... Uh, Good um, story there about uh, Moody and Sankey. Amen. And so then they put like these uh, scripture verses for each uh, verse of the hymn. But let's go ahead and um, try to get the tune here. All right. So we'll sing here. There's four verses to this hymn. And it starts out. Let's go ahead and sing. Encamped along the hills of night, ye Christian soldiers rise and Press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies against the foe and veils below. Let all our strength be hurled. Faith is the victory we know that overcomes the world. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. His banner over us is love, our sword, the word of God. We tread the road, the saints above, with shouts of triumph trod. By faith they, like a whirlwind's breath, swept on over every field. The faith by which they conquered death is still our shining shield. Faith is the victory, faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. On every hand the foe we find drawn up in a dread array. Let tents of ease by be left behind and onward to the fray. Salvation's helmet on each head with truth all gird about. The earth shall tremble neath our tread and echo with our shout. Faith is the victory, faith is the victory, oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. To him that ne um, excuse me, all right, hold on. To him that overcomes the foe, what 
rem remnant, uh, raiment shall he given before the angels. He shall know his name confessed in heaven. Them onward from the hills of light, our hearts with love aflame will vanquish all the hosts of night in Jesus' conquering name. Amen. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Amen. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up there a little bit. But praise the Lord. All right, so you can get yourself a copy of that book. Again, I'll give you the address and stuff at the end of the broadcast, but now let me put that aside. That's a, kind of a heavy book there. A lot of pages. So now let's turn to Job chapter number... Oh, all right, let me make sure I'm at the right spot here. I think it said uh, 19 through 21. Yep, so 19 through 21. So let's get started here. If you have your Bible handy, you turn along with me to chapter 19. And we just had uh, heard from Bildad, the Shuhite, uh, 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 and he just spoke. So now we're going to hear the answer from Job in chapter 19. It says, Then Job answered and said, How long will ye vex my soul and break me in pieces with words? Then ten times have ye reproached me. Ye are not ashamed that ye make yourselves strange to me. And be it indeed that I have erred, my error remaineth with myself. If indeed ye will magnify yourselves against me and plead against me my reproach, know now that God hath overthrown me and hath compassed me with his net. Behold, I cry out of wrong. But I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. He hath fenced up my way that I cannot pass, and he hath set darkness in my paths. He hath stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head. He hath destroyed me on every side, and I am gone, and mine hope hath he removed like a tree. He hath also kindled his wrath against me, and his uh, count, and he counteth me unto him as one of his enemies. His troops come together and raise up their way against me, and encamp round about my tabernacle. He hath put my brethren far from me, and my acquaintance are verily in, in, estranged from me. My kinfolk have failed. And my familiar friends have forgotten me. They that dwell in mine house and my maids count me for a stranger. I am an alien in their sight. I called my servant, and he gave me no answer. I entreated him with my mouth. Mm. Entreated him with my mouth. My breath is strange to my wife, though I entreated for the children's sake of my own, mine own body. Yea, young children despise me. I arose, and they spake against me. All my inward friends abhorred me, and they whom I loved are turned against me. My bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh, and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth. Who uh, have pity upon me, have pity upon me, O ye my friends, for the hand of God hath touched me. Why do ye persecute me as God, and are not satisfied with my flesh? Oh, that my words were not were now written! Oh, that they were printed in a book, that they were graven with an iron pen, and led in the rock for ever! For I know that my Redeemer liveth. Amen. He says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall Stand at the latter day upon the earth, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. But ye should say, Why persecute we him, seeing the root of the matter is found in me? Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. 
Chapter 20 Then answered Zophar, the Naamathite, and said, Therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, and for this I make haste. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causeth me to answer. Knowest thou not this of old, since my man was pleased uh, or placed upon the earth, or upon earth, that the triumph, triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish for ever like his own dung, that or they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Verse 9. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it, and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat in his bowels is turned, it is the gall of asps within him. He hath swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Ho! Oh. He shall suck the poison of asps, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter, that which be labored or that which he labored, for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down, according to his substance shall that uh, restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein because he hath oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his su uh, sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon his, him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the belly, or the body, excuse me, out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places, and fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall uh, reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of the wicked man from God, and the heritage appointed unto him by God. Chapter 21 But Job answered and said, Hear diligently my speech, and let this be your consolations. Suffer me that I may speak. And after that I have spoken, mock on. As for me, is my complaint to man? And if it be, if it were so, why should not my spirit be troubled? Mark me, and be aston astonished, and lay your hand upon your mouth. Even when I remember, I am afraid, and trembling taketh hold on my flesh. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power? Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Uh, their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of God upon them. Their bull 
gendereth uh, and faileth not their cow, uh, calveth, and casteth not her calf, or calf. They send forth their little ones in like a flock, and their children dance. They take the timbrel and harp, and rejoice at the sound of the organ. They spend their days in wealth, and in a moment go down to the grave. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Huh, how true is that today? Wow. Again, this is an up-to-date book. They say, uh, depart from us, uh, telling God this, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction upon them? <clears throat> Excuse me. God distributeth sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. God layeth up his iniquity for the, his children. Um, he rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see the destruction, and he, he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Uh, for what pleasure hath he and his house after him, when the number of his months is out of, uh, uh, cut off in the midst? Shall any teach God knowledge, seeing he judgeth those, thing, those that are high? One dieth in his full strength, being holy, at ease and quiet, that's W-H-O-L-L-Y, that's holy and tired, uh, holy at ease and quiet. His breasts are full of milk, and his bones are uh, moistened with marrow, uh, and another dieth in the uh, bitterness of his soul, and never eateth with pleasure. They shall lie down alike in the dust, and the worms shall cover them, Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me, Job says. For ye say, Where is the house of the prince, and where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have ye not asked them that go by the way, and do ye not know their tokens, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Who shall declare his way to his face, and who shall repay him what he hath done? Yet shall he be brought to the grave, and shall remain in the tomb. The clods of the valley shall be sweet unto him, and every man shall draw after him, as there are innumerable before him. How then comfort ye me in vain, seeing in your answers there remaineth falsehood. Hmm. And that is where we will end it for today. And uh, so tomorrow we'll come back and we'll cover chapter 22 through uh, chapters 22 through 25 tomorrow. So I hope you'll come back for that and we will um, see what Eliphaz the Temanite has to say after Job has answered, who did he just answer? He answered, um, uh, Zophar. So, praise the Lord. Amen. And, uh, apologize about the alarm going off in the background. I forgot that it was programmed for <laughs> 3 o'clock. So, amen. But, uh, praise the Lord. Alright, well, if you'd like to get yourself a copy of this hymn notebook, it's called, uh, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs. And it's, uh, by, uh, what is this company called? Uh, Melody Publications. And uh, so they are located in Knoxville, Tennessee. And their address is P.O. Box 70107. And uh, um, the website is melodypublications.com. So if you want to get yourself a copy of this uh, hymnal here, it's pretty good. I haven't read all the way through it yet, but lots of, lots of songs in here, lots of hymns. Amen. Some that I already know, some I don't know. So, praise the Lord. But, uh, I'd sing, uh, that song at the beginning there. 
So uh, faith is the victory, and we know we have victory in Jesus. That is, if you're saved, you have victory in Jesus. So let's keep marching together uh, to victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. And if you have not catched the devotional, um, it's up and ready to be watched uh, either on Facebook or on my YouTube page. You can either type in my name or type in uh, uh, band, uh, <laughs> Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting. And uh, look it up that way. All right. Well, till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. And you all have a great and wonderful rest of your Saturday. And be in prayer for this evening as we uh, venture over to New Smyrna Beach for a different ministry this evening. Since uh, the Daytona ministry has been canceled due to uh, some kind of riots or something that they're planning on doing over there. So don't want to get involved in that even though... Um, should still get the gospel of those people, but I understand that we want to try to be safe also and not uh, run into a bunch of violent people that just want to hurt people and destroy things. So, yes, uh, just keep praying for those people and maybe somebody will be out there to be able to witness to them. So keep that in your prayers that, that uh, those riots and those uh, things won't happen in Daytona like they were planning to do in this weekend. So, um, amen. All right, well... Brother Scott signing off till next time, so thanks for watching, and see y'all later. Bye-bye for now.